I'll never forget my first night in Africa. Lying in a tent, with only a single sheet of canvas separating me from a roaring lion. A moment that has ever since been etched in my memory, sending shivers down my spine straight into my soul. A night that became the start of my love affair with the African bush. Because isn't it a crazy thought that we humans were once as wild as these lions? It became my place to breathe, to think, to connect, and to recalibrate my senses, and eventually I surrendered to its rhythm. An elemental sensation that puts the world on pause and makes everyday worries instantly disappear. A form of stillness that felt confusing, fearful and liberating all at the same time. And in that particular space of not knowing what's ahead of us, Umoja was born. A series of images that became my way of dealing with the uncertainty of living in between an old world that was falling apart and a new one that does not emerge yet. But as time progressed, I started to feel part of something bigger, something outside of my own control. A floating feeling as if space and time didn't exist. And I learned that in a world where we have all the answers at our fingertips, there are still a few things in life that require patience. Patience to develop an understanding of the intricate web of life. Patience to explore the depths of our existence. And patience to accept that in the end, we are all one. And then it all started to make sense. How everything's balanced. How every single wild animal is a mystery in itself. And how saving nature is essentially about saving ourselves. It encouraged me to look for stories of hope. Because isn't that what we're all craving for? Hope for a better future for a planet. Because let's not forget that in motivating people to love and defend the natural world, an ounce of hope is more worth than a ton of despair. And that it's too easy to get caught in the grandness of our egos when we are disconnected from the grandness of Mother Nature. So eventually, it was these African landscapes that taught me that the cave I was fearing to enter was holding the treasures I seek. <laughs>